Our agent, Marty Baum, said, look, if you guys want to just go make a film and be totally left alone, there are two new guys in town. Menachem Golden and Yoram Globus were the heavyweights. They were the George Foreman's and the Muhammad Ali's of the indie market. Yoram Globus was the businessman behind the movie making. Where is my money? You promise and promise and promise and you're not paying. Menachem Golan was the movie maker. He redubbed me with an American voice, but not a voice that's similar to mine. A true ninja doesn't kill. He eliminates, and only for defensive purposes. He's so not ninja. I don't know, I've never seen a ninja. Ninja 3 The Domination managed to take The Exorcist, a ninja movie, and combine it with Flashdance. Nuts, just crazy nuts. Did you do preview cards for the black hole? No, I'm guessing. No way. Well, we must have. Because... You think so? Oh, yeah, it's automatic. You know, you, you go... Was it automatic for Disney, though, then, in the late 70s, yeah, to do preview cards? You're crazy if you don't do them. Mm. But that doesn't mean that... Yeah. It... Do you remember uh, what they said? Know, Did you keep a, a few? You go... No. I... You, f no, you it's frame a couple? Too, it's too painful. Wow. Uh, but, you know... You... And so you can't do it in, in L.A. because Right, right. You know, so you've got to go to Bakersfield and get bowlers to come, you know, and you hand out these cards, say, if you want to see the next great movie from Ba, you tease them into coming to see it. Now, the, the, the one that I remember most of all was we were doing previews for, and I think I've told you the story before, for Superman 4, the, the quest for peace. And um, so people came, showed up, and when the title came on, Super, they cheered. They were so excited. We get to see the next Superman. And hopefully it'll be better than the last one with Richard Pryor, because you can't get worse than that. By the end of the screening, they had started throwing the pencils and anything else at the screen. And I'm, I'm standing in the back thinking, oh, my God, should I run for the car? As usual, the executives, the people in charge bailed. And just, you know, no, it wasn't my idea. I never liked it in the first place. Nobody took responsibility. Oh, surprise, surprise. Even Sidney J. Fury, who came to the, to the screening, couldn't take it. So he said, I'll be across the street at the bar. You know, let me know how it goes, Harrison. Oh, sure, fine. <laughs> Make me the punching bag for a bunch of pissed off people. So well, I went look, over and he said, so how did I go, how did I go? It was interesting. You, you know, it's it's interesting if you use it for its purpose and try to de data mine it, <clears throat> you know, but I, I can see why you didn't want to be a part of it. And I can see why Sydney wanted to go to the bar. It all makes sense to me. I mean, the thing, that was a Canon film, right? Oh, let's not go there. Oh, wait, hold up. We have to go there because Canon. There were crooks. Yeah, yeah. So, crooks. so I'm assuming should, your paycheck on that jail. bounced. Your what? paycheck bounced, right? Yeah. So I got I held off on whatever. Yeah. So eventually they owed me eighty two thousand dollars, and I said, Ooh. okay, I need to get paid now. Um, and said, here's the check. And I went in and the, it bounced. For 82K? I got, eventually, they they made good on me. But I was naive. I was a little, you know, oh, this is going to be so much fun. And, you know, I, well, I, hold I, up, hold up. First of all, don't be too hard on yourself. Look, it's the film business and there's a lot of electricity and magic attached to it. I mean, your agent should have spun it like, hey, Yo, Harrison, 82K. Harrison wants to make this movie called Dead Silence as a director. So why don't we roll 82 into, say, 120, let him direct his movie. He needs a budget of about 1.5. 
How's that sound? You get out of your 82K, he gets to direct, he gets another job, and he gets to make his movie. Would that have solved it? Mm, I, you know, I never turned down a job. Of course not. Nobody should. Well, you know, if you turn it down, there's a line behind you. They'll take it. They will and take it. Those people was Dennis Muir. No, it wasn't. No. I was going to say that doesn't sound right. That does that part of the story no. doesn't quite feel right. But okay. <laughs> no, I, I, there's so much good fortune and and luck, and I said this. I'll say it before. Um, you only get the opportunity once because if you turn it down, and say I'm not ready. ready eh, the problem never turn is. Down a job. Look, the problem is, and some people don't see this as a problem, but you are owed the money, which you are entitled to. If you press too hard for it, you should get what you deserve. But the backlash is you may never work for Canon again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank there you go. Right. That Now, that's the appropriate reaction. But the other thing is, is, you know, when the Lucases aren't calling and the John Carpenters aren't doing Escape from L.A., which you worked on. Then you got to go like, man, it'd be nice to have a movie from June to like October. That's when the Canon group might have something because they did what? They did four movies a month or something like that. Something where they they actually I think they used Charles Bronson and filmed him once, but used it in two movies or. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, they, they, they enticed me and said, look, you'll be the uh, head of production. You'll be the vice president. You'll be this. Of course. I thought, you know, I don't know if this is right. No, actually, I jumped at it. I thought, yeah, hey, of course. To... my ego. No, 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 no. The it opportunity. For about, it, fortunately, um, that lasted for about uh, about a month. And no, man. I was in charge of 82 productions. 82. Okay. So and, first, and then you know, thankfully, Sidney J. Fury came in and said, "Superman Four, I want you to do the effects on that." And even up. that was a better choice than being. <laughs> I want to get to the eighty-two productions in a minute because I'm curious about what that production roster looked like. But if someone gives you an opportunity to be vice president of production, you take it and you see what you can do with it. There's no. There's no if, ands, or buts about that, unless you're one of the elite few, 0.5% in the business that don't need to worry about that kind of thing. Others should take an opportunity to see what they can do. So, Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Rated R. 